In this screencast from Onshaw.net, I'm just going to show you um, another way of using the interactive whiteboard to teach long multiplication. Uh, you'll probably need to see the previous one, um, which went through uh, the box method for long multiplication using a grid, um, as we're going to start off by showing you the grid that we set up um, in the previous uh, slide, simply four squares. Uh, so if you haven't, don't worry, we just need to draw four squares to show the idea. Now again, this isn't the best method for using an interactive whiteboard. It's just a step up from a normal whiteboard, just to make things look a little bit more attractive uh, to children, maybe a little bit more motivating until children actually get used to the board and expect this kind of, uh, kind of stuff. Now uh, we're going to look at Napier's method for doing uh, our long multiplication for a particular sum, which, um, which we've been doing all day. So I'm just going to show you the previous uh, slide, show you the sum we did. Um, initially, 23 multiplied by 47. And we're just going to show you Napier's method for doing that. So essentially, what we do for Napier's method is we uh, write the numbers down um, using our pen. Uh, so 23 like so, and then 47 down the side, and I'll just show you how this is going to work. Now Napier's method uh, requires some different lines, and uh, I'm going to show you how to draw those lines using the line tool. If we go to the shapes, now every interactive whiteboard will have their own version of a line tool. This is uh, Promethean's Active Inspire software, and uh, I'm going to just use a different shade uh, up, um, there to draw the lines. And each grid needs to uh, have a line being split through like so. So we'll have three lines being drawn here. Perfect. Now what we do uh, then for Napier's method is we can uh, write in the answers to the questions. So first of all it's 2 multiplied by 4 which is 8 and with Napier's method you actually draw the leading zero. There has to be two digits all the time. Um, then we have 3 multiplied by 4 which is 12. Now just go with me here anyway. And trust me that this will work. 2 by 7, 14. And then we have 3 by 7, which is 21. Now the idea is, once we've done all that, we get to add uh, the numbers that are there. So we're going to start from the bottom, uh, from the bottom up. So 1 plus nothing is just 1. 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8. 1 plus 8 plus 1 is 10, so we uh, put the 0 and carry our 1 into the next box. 0 and 1 is 1. And then we read from the top down, so 1081. And that's how we kind of do Napier's method. Now again, it's just, I'm, I'm really, really just showing you um, how it makes it a little bit more attractive than normal uh, than on a normal whiteboard, and you can uh, get children to choose uh, different numbers for the top uh, for the top here. I'll just prove, by the way, just sorry that it is 1081 from the previous thing. 1081, and there we are, 1081. It actually does it, it works all the time, and it's a really cool way of doing it. And um, most most children find this quite easy to do, but it, it it's it's an they don't believe it's that easy, and it'll work, uh, and it'll work, and uh, they often don't use it in the end. But it's just a nice way of uh, doing uh, long multiplication in a different way. Again, using a grid, um, using lines, and using colour just to make things a little bit more attractive for children. So um, there's one more uh, way of showing long multiplication. I've shown you the traditional method, I've shown you the box method, this is Napier's method, and then finally we're going to show you the Russian method in the next uh, video cast or screencast. Thanks.